my pixies and welcome back to my youtube channel so today i am back on nothing actually because today is going to be a little bit of a different video and i'm assuming that a lot of people who are clicking on this video are new so if you're new make sure to hit that subscribe button i'll really appreciate it but today i'm going to show you guys how to make a super easy simple render in roblox studio and in blender so or how to make like a transparent you know what i mean i'm pretty sure that everyone will know what i mean but um it's super easy i have only been doing this for like three weeks and i've gotten pretty good at it it's not hard it doesn't involve it only involves one plugin and i think it's a lot simpler than all the other tutorials i've seen and i'm going to show you exactly how to do things so you won't be confused and you'll be able to get it down pat too so let's just jump right into the video okay so the first thing you're going to want to do is go to the catalog which you don't have to do this if you don't want to but what i do is i go on here and i pick out what i want to wear on this because i don't want to have to like mess around with my outfit when i get there it's easier you can change your outfit if you want to i just prefer not to because i think that it's just easier to not have to do anything so yes i'm just going to change my stuff i'm going to take my hearts off i bought these really cute bats um i'm going to be wearing them for halloween but anyways okay so once you've done that you can go ahead and open roblox studio and this will come with roblox but if not you can just go to the home page google it and download it it won't take long you're going to go to this first one here called base plate and just click on it and let it load in so this is what your screen should look like once you're in i'm on the home tab there's the model tab test tab view and plugins you're going to jump all the way over to plugins and go to load character pro which most people have but if you do not have this plugin to purchase it all you have to do is go down here to plugins and type in the one that you want. I'm not going to do it just because I don't need to since I already own it. But once it gets downloaded, you can you might need to restart your studio. But if you don't, you can just go ahead and click on it. And you're going to type in whatever avatar you want to use. So I'm going to use, obviously, my avatar, which is Pixpip. And you're going to hit Spawn R15. And um, make sure you check Spawn at Origin so it doesn't, like, spawn over there, like somewhere random and then your avatar should be loaded in and this is what mine looks like now you could leave it like this but I wouldn't um, the point is to be able to move it and make it look more realistic so you're gonna go over here into the sidebar and hit the down tap on pixie pip or whatever your character's name is and you're gonna see all the different parts of the character I'm just going to start by changing the face and I'm going to hit the down arrow and go to face and then you're going to want to go over here into your toolbox if your toolbox isn't open you're gonna to want to go into the home tab and click on it and then go down to images and Google super happy face or whatever face you want to add I'm just doing this one because this is my favorite face you're gonna right click it hit copy asset ID and once that's all done, you're going to want to go down here to the texture area. Hit delete backspace. Once your texture is clear, you're going to paste in your ID right to that. Go back and watch that again if you're not sure. I'll just redo it for you guys. Okay, what you're going to do to change your face is you're going to hit right click, copy asset ID. Go down to face, delete your texture, and replace it in. And that is, once again, how you change your face to whatever face you want. You can use the rainbow throw-up face. You can use the annoyed face. You can use the super happy face. Faces you might not be able to purchase in the Roblox catalog. Once you're done adjusting your face, um, I'm going to go back up here. And you can, if you have like any hats on you want to take off, you can just right click it and delete it but I don't so I'm just going to leave mine like this 
And now it's time to change the body around. So you're going to find a pose that you want to do. And you can do pretty much whatever pose you want. I'm going to just do some for some thumbnails that I might need to in the future. Just so I have this one ready. So I'm going to do a little like side, I don't know, like by the mouth. Or maybe I'll do like one hand raised up, I don't know. I think that I'm going to do a one that's like turned by the mouth. So I'm going to just grab my character right here and go up here to rotate and turn it whatever way. I'm going to do it this way. So she looks like this. Also guys, um, sometimes you will be not able to turn it so smoothly. If that happens to be the case, you can go straight to model and go to up here where it says rotate and move and see if you have it on like 20 studs then like it's not going to turn easily whatsoever it's going to turn very harshly so you're going to want to break that down until you can move it very smoothly and you're going to do the same with move as well so you're going to have them on zero studs now to actually move your character you're going to want to once again, have that tab open on the side and click whatever you want to move. Now, I'm going to start by moving this arm right here. So that I can't, I'm not sure if that's her left arm or her right arm. That's her right arm. So I'm going to go down and find right hand and I'm going to hold down control to select the right hand, the lower right arm and the right upper arm. Now this is all going to move together. I am going to turn mine up a little bit. I'm gonna try to make mine look cute or whatever. So we're gonna turn it like this. You can switch to move so you can move it back and forth. And if it won't let you because you're, it's saying that your objects are colliding and it won't let you like put them together like that, you can go up here to collisions. If you have collisions on, it's not gonna let you. As you can see, it won't let me go any farther. If you have them off, it will let you go as far as you want. So that's what you need to do for that. So I'm just going to adjust her arm. And if you deselect it like that, you're going to have to reselect it, but it's not that hard to do once you get used to it. So, okay, so as you can see, I just got her hand how I want it to. I'm not gonna worry about the connections over here being too good because this is kind of where I want it to look, like how I want it to look. I'm going to tilt the head upwards a little bit, so to move the head, I'm going to select that, and I'm going to go up and select my earrings, my hair, and anything else that's on my face, because I want to make sure that that moves with it, and I'm going to turn my head a little bit this way, and a little bit up. Okay, for this other arm, I'm going to grab the lower left arm in the left hand, and I'm just going to turn this one in a little bit. I don't want to do anything crazy with this one. I'm not really looking to do anything crazy. I think I might just leave it like that. And it's only going to, you're only going to see like the top part of it. So, you know, I think that it will be fine like that. But yeah, I think that's all I want to do with my render. Oh, her hair is kind of messed up. Okay, so once again, just to fix that, all you have to do is just go bloop, bloop, and just fix it. I think I might pull mine up a little bit. And then you can see a little head though. Let's just pull her forward a little bit to make sure that there's no hair showing through in the back. Even though you're not going to see the back, you know, you want to make sure that it looks good. Her pose is. So now we're going to select oh wait i forgot don't forget to hit their name and go down to name and delete it so there's no name tag above their head then you're going to select your whole thing hit group and right click and hit export where is it export selection and you can save this to wherever you want i'm just going to do pixie mm, base now i don't even know Okay, I'm now in Blender, and you will come with a little square. You can just right-click it and delete it. Now, I'm going to go up here to File, and hit Import, and you're going to hit Wavefront OBJ. And then you're going to go into your computer and find the one that you want. 
There is mine. You're going to hit the OVJ version and hit import. Now, if it's not right here, it's going to be somewhere on this map. So you're just going to have to find it. To move around in Blender, you're going to use the middle mouse button, which is the little clicky scrolly thing. And that is going to change your perception view. And then to actually move, you can use this grab thing. It's actually super difficult to move in here. It definitely takes some getting used to. I'm still not very good at it. So, once you get her, she's going to be, or he is going to be, gray. Now you're going to want to go up here to these four little buttons and click the last one. And this is going to put it in color. Now to change the lighting, you're going to want to go here, click on that. And you're going, wait, right there where lighting is. And you're going to want to go down, down here to lighting this little light bulb you're going to want to go to sun and you're going to find this light and you're going to point it right at your model i just point mine directly at it so there's not that many shadows um because i can add shadows in on my editor later if i want to then you're going to go on to go to strength and you're not going to need nearly that much you're going to want to go to like 10 and I normally start at 10 and then go down because most of the time that's way too much But I'm gonna keep it right there in 9 9 9 Okay, now to get your background Transparent so when you actually import this, it's just gonna be the render you're gonna want to go down To camera right here this little button you're gonna want to go to film and you're gonna click the transparent thing And now you can see it changed it to a grid and then to actually do your render, you're going to want to hit this camera button and you're going to see this is where your default camera is. You're going to want to go over there to that camera and you can click on that and you're going to want to hit this little move button. And this is going to make it so you can move your camera around, which you're going to want to do because... We need to make sure that it looks directly onto your render so then you can also hit the rotate one you can rotate it around and rotate it up or however you want to do it and as you can see that's a lot better than it was obviously it's not perfect but you can keep playing with it and moving it around until you get it the right you know way that you want it I guess you could say Okay, so once you get your camera at a good angle the way that you want it to, you go back to your camera view over here, and you're just going to hit render up at the top, and render image, and this is what my image looks like. So this is my render. I didn't need my feet in mine, so I didn't even bother adjusting the camera to it. So once you get here, you're going to want to go up here to image, you're going to go to save as, and you can save this wherever you want in your computer. Okay, to make all my thumbnails, I use this free online editor called Pho Photopea, and basically it's like a exact mural of Photoshop, except for the fact that it's free. It works perfectly, and I would never use anything else because I already know how to work pretty much everything on here, and I love using this. I think that it's great. It has a ton of great features, and I am so glad that i know about this instead of i'm begging my parents to buy me photoshop which is way too expensive it just shows that you don't have to have something fancy to make great thumbnails so basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to file hit new and this is where you can decide your size obviously thumbnail size is 1280 by 720 i go to background transparent and hit create and then you can go to open in place and find your render in here. Mine, I just saw mine. There she is. Okay, there's my render right there. And boom, there you go. You have a brand new render. I'm just going to show you guys how to, you know, do a few other things on here. I'll do a thumbnail tutorial if you want me to. Basically, I'll do, I'll just open a background. I'm just going to use pink grid right now because I don't really feel like doing anything else. I just wanted to get this done and this is kind of an easy background to use um obviously 
that's basically all you have to do. I'm just going to end the video off here, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And yeah, that's how you make a simple, easy render with Blender and Roblox Studio. So yeah, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye!